a family custom order. However, this family is unique in that they have uh, nine dogs and um, two owners. So this is going to be one of my most challenging. I'm not going to lie. This is going to be the most challenging um, custom that I've done for a family. However, I have practiced uh, multiple sheets before getting on this live or on this recording. So let's do it. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what we can do. Boom. Yeah. We have some mini poodles here. We got a chihuahua mix here. We're going to go right in here with the Great Dane. This is... There we go. That's our Great Dane. We still have one more dog to go, so hang in there. We're almost there. It's going to come together when the eyes go in. Windows to the soul and all that stuff, right? Okay, these are our two owners. Okay, we're getting there. One dot at a time.
Okay. This is uh, eight dogs and two owners. Now, what we're going to do is this is where it gets tricky. Do you cut these to the frame size when you're done? Yes, Lucy the Poodle, I do. I cut these down to 24 by 32. So these all get trimmed to 24 by 32 so that uh, A, you can easily and affordably frame them. A, I can safely ship them. And uh, yeah, that's it. There's no more to talk about other than that. Buck is our guardian angel that has passed away. So we're going to start out with, uh, you're going to see what I'm going to do with the, the colors. I want to add some color, but I don't want to go over the top. because I don't tend to go over the top on color. I keep it pretty conservative. And um, yeah. And you never know till you're done. You know, anything could happen. Okay, so that's for Buck with the halo. We're giving Buck a halo. But I think I'm going to start. I don't know. I just you just play you just play around with it. You just don't know. I just don't know how it's gonna go. You can't you can't figure when you're taking trips, when you're taking journeys like this in life, you can't say, hmm. If I'm driving to New York, when I get to Oklahoma, I'm going to do this. You don't know. You don't know if you're going to make Oklahoma. You don't know if you're going to have to reroute or something like that. So let's just do one at a time, and I'm going to get my pen and check off the names as I go. Let's cross off Otis. Check. Okay. Otis, Athena, and Buck. Three down, something like a million to go. I think I'm going to go Ray right here. Okay. Ray, R-H-E-A. Once again, always test this pen. They're using these. These are really crazy pens they will they have a mind of their own pepe uh pepe Pepe. Let's cross Pepe off. So we have like 11 names to do. One, two, three, four, five. We've got five. We're going to pray that we can um, get the rest in here. Athena, Otis, Ray, Pepe. Sorry if my body blocks the camera sometimes when I go in tight here, but I got to do what I got to do.
some low hanging fruit for Ace here. Okay, we're doing the queen. There we go. We got Queen Sirky in there. Bingo. Okay. VIVI. -I. Then we have Jessica, and then I'm going to proof all of my all of my text, and we'll see what we're looking like. I don't always put heart, hearts at drip, but I love putting hearts in things. So we're going to put a heart in here. And I feel like I'm going to put it right here. I'm going to get a Q-tip as a technique if the drip goes. So if the drip goes in and past something I don't want, then I can just uh, nip it in the bud. Now we need to proofread it. We ha we're supposed we have eight dogs. A shout out to Buck and two humans. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two humans and Buck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 